Hey, what's up guys? It's Ryan from Southern Land Riders. Just picked up a new 2021 Razor Turbo S. Uh, it's, I think it's about almost three years now the Turbo S platform is, but in my opinion, it's still the best side-by-side -side out there for the type of riding that we do. Um, I had a 2018 when they first came out, a blue one. Uh, it was a great machine, it still is. Um, Chris is, uh, is, is driving it now. And then I bought a 2019 about a year and a half ago. Um, and it's been my primary machine. You've seen it in all the videos. But it's probably been the best side-by-side -side that I've ever owned. I, I really haven't had much problems at all out of it. Um, anything that I did was self-inflicted and it's just, it was a great machine. But um, it looks a little bit different now. I, uh, as you can see, I took all the fenders off and the, uh, the bed is gone. The box is gone. Uh, it looks a little bit, a little bit different, but I'm going to use this for Stony. We've got a trip in a week, uh, for new year's. Um, it's Christmas by the way, but, um, so I'm gonna take this for one last ride at Stony Lonesome and then, um, H is in the process of building a tube chassis right now for me, a single seat tube chassis. So once, uh, once Stoney is over with and that ride's done, I'm immediately going to clean it up and uh, take it to his shop. And then um, some of the parts that I'm going to use off of this one to transfer over to this one, uh, I'm going to keep the Trinity exhaust, transfer that over. Uh, I'm going to keep the PRP seats and I'm going to keep the gatekeeper designs cage, uh, the mirrors, the light bar, uh, everything else. Oh, and the skid plate. I'm going to transfer that over. Um, everything else is going to H and, you know, obviously he'll use the transmission, the diff, all the, uh, harnesses, things like that. So, um, this particular machine, um, I've got a few things that I've got to install on it. Uh, like I said, it's Christmas, so I've got like four days or so of, of being off from work. So I'm going to spend the next four days or so in the garage working on it. But um, some of the things that I am going to put on it, I've got, uh, I've got a horn. That's for Chris, of course. Uh, Razorback temp gauge, side-by-side uh, -side radio, CB, some cheap uh, Amazon uh, rock lights, a ZRP uh, pull plate, aftermarket assassin stage three tune, aftermarket assassin's blow-off valve. I uh, went with L&W Fab's uh, upper A-arms. H is doing the lower A-arms and the trailing arms. Uh, and then also ZRP, I've got some uh, billet radius rods ordered from them. That stuff hasn't come in yet, but um, Hess uh, Motorsport steering wheel, the Hess um, adapter, uh, Keller ball joints again. And we've had a lot of issues with uh, the, the knuckles and the Turbo S. I've had to replace them four or five times. So um, I ordered some, some billet um some billet knuckles for that so hopefully we won't have any issues there and then obviously the best axles that you can buy um rcv been running those for four years and have never broke one so those are going on all my all my machines uh the tube chassis as well uh pro armor doors same doors that were in the 2019 my doors on the machine won't close they've been beat up pretty bad so i got new ones uh, Mudbuster fender flares, and then a um, new Sandcraft uh, drive shaft back there, and then uh, wheels. Those are some old spare wheels I've got that are just going on it. But um, MRT crawlers are the tires that I'm going to put on it. It's the same tires that I've been running in the 19 for about four trips now, and haven't had a single flat. So you know, normally that's the number one issue on the trips is flat tires and those have been amazing so i'll keep running those but uh but yeah like i said i'm gonna spend the next week or so working on it and 
hopefully get most of it done. I'm not planning to take it to Stony just because I think I think this one will be all right. But like I said, as soon as Stony gets gets finished, uh, that one's being torn down and. H is killing it with a tube chassis, so he's gonna get everything he needs to finish it up. But uh, hopefully it'll be as good of a machine as, as the 19 was, and I'm looking forward to building it. You know, building them is, is always a lot of fun. You know, it's completely stock right now. It's got, I think like 1.2 miles on it. Uh, still got all the stickers and stuff in it. So not much has changed since 2018 the only really difference that i've noticed so far is the, the clutching is a little bit different they did add um, door speakers in the 2021s so i'm going to use those and link those up to the, the the cb so i don't have to get an external speaker for it but i uh, like the color i really like the color scheme it's very similar to the old one so all the parts will will look right on it but uh but anyway, yeah, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the video and follow the build. And like I said, I'll, I'll do another video once I get everything finished up. And, you know, obviously I'll do a, a pretty good video on the tube chassis as well once it gets finished. But uh, anyway, appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys watching and uh, hope to see you out there. All right, after a couple of hours, it looks a little bit different. I went ahead and uh, took as much as I really needed to just to be able to work on it a little bit better run the rock lights uh, run all the wires back to the um, to the belt the clutch box for the um, razorback temp gauge eight pod lights for the rock lights uh, the antenna for the CB um, just trying to get everything broke down so it's it's easy to work on. I've got a good bit of stuff to do to it, but and one thing I forgot to mention uh, as I was taking the cage off, um, the UPS guy showed up and uh, delivered these beauties. But these are the uh, ZRP um, billet radius rods. It's really light. Um, look great. So we'll see how they hold up, but uh, I'm gonna be putting these on the, tw the uh, 2021 and then also the tube chassis. So we'll see how they hold up. Just had a special delivery from the postman. Let's see what we got here. that sorry for the crappy video I'm trying to record with one hand performance side-by-side -side bushings tie rods these things are beautiful uh, I always run these gonna run them in both machines uh, if you need tie rods or bushings call James Shelley uh, performance side by side bushings.com. James is uh, always great, really helps the off road community a whole lot um, and makes awesome products. So check them out, performance side by side bushings.com. All right, got a quick update. Haven't done a whole lot. Today's Christmas, so we uh, went to some families, went to my mom's house, and Ate, uh, ate really good and came home and worked on it a little bit. Just kind of getting everything broken down. I got all the front suspension and tie rods and axles and all that out. All that will be replaced. And uh, I think that's about it for now. But until I can get this one, the parts that I'm going to use off of that and a couple of more parts that I'm waiting on to be delivered. It's really not much else I can do, but it, uh, it's amazing. Like, I mean, these are all the parts that are taken off of it and none of this stuff will be used on it. Plus there's other stuff that's coming off. that's not going to be used. And you know, you spend, a lot of money for a new machine and you end up taking 
25, 30% of it off and just not really using it. I mean, it's a great machine from the factory, but uh, everything that I'm putting on, it's definitely gonna help it out and make it a lot stronger. So looking forward to getting it together. We'll see how, uh, how it continues to turn out. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm taking these springs off and uh, I'm going to replace the tender springs or I'm gonna replace these springs, these aren't really tender springs, with uh, some All Things UTV. Tender springs that I'm running in my old razor and I've ran a couple of different variations of shocks and shock therapy and a few other things, but just replacing the tender springs, in, in my opinion, I really prefer that over anything else. So to get these shocks off, um, I wanted to do a quick video of it. This is not always the easiest part for me. Uh, but if you got this, this little tool right here, uh, I got it on Amazon. I think it was like 40 bucks, but it makes getting the springs off so much easier. There's a couple of different versions of this that I had in the past. One was like a big claw and it was just too big for these razor springs. So uh, this comes in a pair, it's two of them. Obviously you put one on one side and one on the <clears throat> exact opposite side of the spring. Get it finger tight, try to get it lined up a little bit. Make sure that the claws are secured on the spring and I put some electrical tape on the end of it just so it wouldn't scratch up the springs too much, but nope, that's just go. A little bit on each side. Just keep checking and making sure these are secure on here on the springs. It's not slipping off. <clears throat> Just get it loose enough where you can Loosen this. And easy as that. But yeah, those tender springs from all things UTV, I think they're $250. But like I said, I've tried shock therapy in the past and I don't know, it was just for it might be good for west coast and dunes and all that but for east coast and this type of stuff that we do i mean i like a little bit firmer ride and it doesn't seem to destroy the uh firm and comfort and sport modes like the shock therapy did and all things utv is a great company i mean they're not a sponsor or anything like that they don't give us any discount for uh plugging their stuff but it's just a really good company dustin robbins is the guy that owns or at least does the marketing i'm not exactly sure what his role is but good guy good company and uh they're actually here in Alabama. I'm in Auburn, Alabama, and they're in, I think, Decatur, Alabama. But So, if you want to update your springs, instead of spending 1000 bucks or 1200 or whatever the dual rate kit is, if you don't want to spend that much money on it, check out the uh, kit from All Things UTV.
Another cool thing that they have, I'll show you as soon as I get this off. But you just slide it out like so. Take your impact. Same thing, just reversed. Easy as that. Uh, another cool thing that they sell is magic axle. Basically, this is an axle puller. I uh, a couple of times I've had issues trying to get axles out and pulled it out of the CV a couple of times trying to get it out and just. This just makes it a whole lot easier. Basically, you just stick this on the axle. If I had an axle on there, I'd show you, but uh, just put this on the axle, tighten these screws up in the bell, and then just give it a whack and it comes out. And the good thing about it is, is you don't have to take the shaft out uh, of the axle to pull it out like some of them, but the shaft will actually come through here so you can keep it on <clears throat> and you can take it out. Um, for a new axle and not have to take the axle apart. But another thing, like I said, that's all, all things UTV sells that. And this isn't an all things UTV commercial, but just wanted to share a couple of, a uh, couple of products that they do sell that, that we really enjoyed and, and uh, work well. All right, so the biggest, Pain in the rear so far on taking everything apart. Springs, suspension, the electrical has been this damn steering wheel hub. And I've seen a lot of people online saying they can wiggle it back and forth and it comes off. I mean, last night I spent like an hour trying to get it off. I had the steering wheel on it trying to pull on it so i went to harbor freight and got the steering wheel puller uh 15 and it came off in like two seconds basically just pop this on there and it pops it out but didn't have any problems getting the bolts out of the steering wheel which a lot of people have didn't have a problem getting the nut off the shaft which a lot of people had but God, getting that adapter off was a pain, but if anybody has that problem, Harbor Freight has it in stock. It's just this little kit right here. And you can take off pretty much any steering wheel with it, but 15 bucks, not bad. Thanks, Harbor Freight. Got a little bit more done this afternoon. I put the Mudbuster fender flares on here, put some new Pro Armor doors on here it's amazing they open and shut so easy and uh, not a whole lot of other stuff done i got the springs off and pretty much at a stopping point right now until i can get the old machine to h and get some of the parts off of it uh, i'm going to use the cage the light bar, the mirrors, the seats, the skid plate, and the exhaust. So until I get all that stuff off, pretty much I'm really at a point now where I can't really do anything else. And then H is building some uh, H-Craft trailing arms and some H-Craft uh, lower A arms. So I can't really do anything until until I get that stuff done, but hopefully next week uh, I can knock it all out and um, and get everything get everything together. It's gonna be nice having a new machine, but looks good. It's so new. It uh, is gonna be a little nerve wracking there the first couple of trips messing it up, but that's what we that's what we buy them for to enjoy them and and to ride them hard. So. 
We'll see how it turns out. All right, so we got back from Stony Lonesome. The uh, last ride for the 2019 was, uh, I guess it went about as planned. <laughs> I uh, busted my front diff, so I got a, actually I just bought a new front diff. So other than that though, the rest of the buggy made it. Um, tomorrow morning, I'm getting up early and headed to H's and I'm gonna take him the buggy. Uh, so he can go ahead and, and get uh, get moving and and get everything out of it, taken apart, all the transmission and everything else basically moved over to the chassis and start really going to town on it. But I kind of stripped it down. Most of the stuff that I'm going to not use on it, the only thing that I really need to get off there, and H&R are going to do that tomorrow when we get to his garage, is the skid plate. And then, um, pretty much other than that, everything else is just either going to be sold or, um, oh, and the exhaust. I got to get the exhaust off tomorrow. So the exhaust and the skid plate, uh, then I'm bringing that stuff home and then I'm going to finish this one, hopefully in the next week. So we can be ready for the big BSB ride at Indian Mountain. Uh, that's Brian Smith's birthday Should be a party and I got to get the fireworks started on that It's gonna be a big show. But anyway, that's all another video. But anyway got the cage I'm gonna take that put that on here as well. So Tomorrow uh, Tomorrow is the last time it'll be in the garage. It's gonna be kind of sad because like I said earlier in the video this was my favorite razor that I've ever owned it, uh, Did everything that I asked it to for the most part, but uh it's it's going uh it's gonna still be in the family so that's cool We're gonna still keep it hopefully for a long time what's up everybody we got a special guest that drove all the way down from tennessee to help me out today none other than wild man chris i'm here as usual just like moab driving for ryan it's crazy yeah <laughs> So hopefully today we're gonna to get this thing finished out. We got 10 days until the big BSB party at Indian Mountain. And we're gonna get the winch done, put the cage on. This is the whole reason I drove down here, is the winch. Yeah, the winch is my favorite part. I hate that crap. Um, put the exhaust on, get the cage on. <laughs> Um, what else? The skid plate. I don't have the lower A arms and trailing arms, but I'm just gonna put the factory back on there and then change them out after the ride. So we can get this damn thing done and I can start, uh, start on some other crap that I need to do, like the fireworks and stuff for the Indian Mountain trip. But anyway, hopefully we're gonna get all this knocked out today. I'm just gonna sit back and let Chris do everything. We'll start by giving me some dice so I can cut this Oh, no, not only do I have a horn now, I have <laughs> two horns. So, 155 decibels wasn't enough, so we had to add another one. Uh, but anyway, quick update since the last video. I did get all the electrical done. Uh, one thing I did a little bit different here in this one, I did the uh, fuse block inside the glove box and the CB inside the glove box. So I can, if a fuse pops or whatever with the cage, it's really hard to get to it if you mount it up here. So put it in the glove box to make it a little bit easier if I pop a fuse. Went with a smaller speaker um, for the CB. Uh, I did do the gear grabber the other night and like I said, finished all the electrical, ran all the wires for stuff that we haven't had, like the light bar and stuff. So. But anyway, we're gonna get started. Hopefully knock this worst part out quick with the winch and uh, move to some good stuff. All right, so we've been working for what, about three hours? No, it's been that long. Two hours? Yeah, two hours. Got the winch all wired up. Uh, got the upper A-arms on. Tie rod ends in. Steering wheel all nice and lined up. Mm -hmm. What else, Chris? 
Uh, we started the girls on the springs. And That's right. We're about to put the cage on. The girls cleaned all the seats and all the nasty, well, the skid plate. See the skid plate? Yeah, we, nobody sees that. No, right. Because it's, yeah. It's new. It's brand new. You're putting that shit back on. They cleaned the cage. And I'm thinking they cleaned out the door bags right here. That we may be able to have this thing rolling today. For sure. And look at the girls out here. They'll be doing donuts in the driveway in three hours. We got Ruth and Charity helping us out today. They're up here painting some springs. I'm gonna try something a little bit different on the first ride. I bought some four seat, full set of springs. We're gonna try those a little bit stiffer. Hey, y'all are doing a great job, man. Look at that. Look at that wind yeah. spraying in my face. <laughs> right, maybe, maybe you should be downwind when you do it. I know, I was yeah. just turning. <laughs> great job, honey. Thank you, except for the wind. Good. We're losing a lot of spray. Good times, man. Good times. Yep. All right, Chris, let's get back to work. All right. All right, we're going to go back in here and finish up. She's ready. We got the trump flags on. It's almost done. Oh, nice. All right, man. This has been a great, great day for work. We, uh, like I said, I don't have the trailing arms or the lower a arms but we just put the factories back on there just so so i can ride an indian mountain uh got everything up there done except for the springs um the ladies finished painting them they're here ready to go clean the seats up we're ready to go watching a little set lane riders on the tv the girls are busy back here <laughs> getting the fireworks show ready We're gonna have 3,500 gram cakes and 60 very, very, very good Hellcat can shells for the mortar for the finale. So, fire show is gonna be on time. All right, we're gonna get back to work. Chris is over here. He uh, he needs my help. No, I'm just getting your seat belts right so you're safe, buddy. Don't worry. Thanks, Chris. Perfection takes time. Yes, well, it does. In, in 12 hours, a little over 12 hours, we built this machine. So, I'm so happy. And the reason we did it is so you can go to BSB. Hell yeah, baby. And the fireworks are done too. And the fireworks are done too, yeah. Does that, so here's the problem. That grill came off a really super abused machine yeah, it's, a it's off. probably not gonna fit a new shiny not smashed not rolled over turbo s you know what we should do we should get a sledgehammer an axe an axe oh yeah look at that edward's fab shop baby custom I fabrication i don't think so so while he continues to futz with that i'll show you what else we got done First of all, we got <clears throat> the new Hess removable steering wheel installed. It's really nice. Then we got the cage installed. And we got... The, would you slow down? I'm telling everybody what we did and you just keep using your word hole. So when I got here, you saw the condition it was in. Now it's got trailing arms, springs, radius rods, axles, knuckles, wheel bearings, tires, an exhaust, uh, pull plate. The A-arms are installed. The tie rods are installed. The ride height's adjusted. The winch is mostly installed because Ryan didn't take all the parts off his old razor, but we'll figure that out in two weeks. All the tires are on. I don't need a winch anyway. You need a winch. Nope. Just to pull you out. No, I, I don't need one. But the most important thing is that the light bar, Ryan's favorite $39 light bar, is still on the razor. 
He made some pretty stinking good changes on the inside. Oh, the other thing is brand new doors that open and shut. Yeah. This was the good one. That's the best. This is gonna go on, on, on the wall in the shop somewhere. That's really nice. I had to save it. The other one, uh, you'll see a video of that. Somehow. Yeah, but it's good. I mean, we're ready to roll. He's got, uh, he went with a new speaker. He went with a new speaker for the CB, which is a bit of a risky choice, but I'm not gonna fault him for it. Charity and Ruth cleaned the seats up real nice. They got the floor mats all cleaned up. All we gotta do is put door stickers on it and we can stick a fork in it because she's done. Here we go, watch the master. Bubbles, I'm gonna see how many bubbles we get here. I'm gonna guess at least two bubbles. Oh, that's not level. Yes it is. <laughs> Are you sure? Shut up, Chris. Okay. All right. Well, you're committed now. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. All right. Big reveal coming up. Nobody knows what's on that sticker. Oh, yeah. Hold on. We got to be really professional about it. Oh, really professional. You don't know how to be professional about anything. Now he's gonna get a freaking blade to wipe these. It's Christmas. Yes, oh yes. Yes, because it's not like this machine is gonna get flipped over on the third day you ride it. No, it's it. not. I told you, this one's staying on pavement. This is a trailer queen? Absolutely. Show razor, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. But for those of you that don't know, he's, he's running a new set of L and W Fab upper A arms. He's running our new sponsors, Radius Rods, Solinger Racing Performance. Shout out to ZRP. Good deal there. <laughs> <laughs> Those factory trailing arms are only on there for another week. We got some H-Craft trailing arms and H-Craft lower A arms coming for the machine. It's got aftermarket assassin stage three tune, blow off valve, and Trinity Racing exhaust off the old Turbo S, complete with head pipe. And RCV Axles, of course, our other sponsor. Strongest axles on the planet. Four years, zero broken axles. Zero broken axles, three broken dips, but we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> and James Shelley's bushings from Performance Side-by-Side -side Bushings, and definitely James's tie rods. Look how beautiful this tie rods are. They are pretty fancy. I can't believe Ryan didn't powder coat them. Just oh, to... man, I can't cover that up. Yeah. That's too pretty to cover up. Right. We are looking for a Polaris sponsor. Polaris. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> we need brake pads, wheel bearings, razors. Uh, razors, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, and the Trump flags. And the, and the RIFAB box that's been corrected. Brand new box. Good to go. All right, here we go. Last thing. And, yeah, perfect. What a professional job you've done there. It's because you're rushing me, Chris. Yeah, that's what it is. Ooh, you are good at this. Uh, how much SC1 is on that door? None. Did you use alcohol on there to make sure that there's nothing to keep the, the stickers from? I ain't you know. going nowhere, man. Shut up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are y'all done recording? No! Hey, look, get charity! Mm, damn it, not fast enough. Are you? No. Hey, well, come get it. Don't be scared. I mean, here. here comes Charity in her pajamas. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Still taking the sticker off. Shut oh, up, it's a slow reveal. 
I could have drove to Sevierville in the time that it took you to take the sticker. Did off. you have any idea that this is gonna be the Sutherland Rider sticker on here? Uh, I had an inkling. It's a good thing I have like five of these because I have a feeling this one's not gonna stay. <clears throat> well, no, because you didn't use alcohol to clean off the damn door. <sighs> I gotta tell you everything. I've never done that before, Chris. And the and Why the start thing? now? Yeah. No. Hey, you saw it. The sticker held up to you last time, right? But this is what we do when we're working on razors. We watch us drive razors. See? And make fun of Chris. Eh, no, it. we make fun of Jeremy, mainly. Bam! She's done. 20, yeah. 2021 Razor Turbo S, ready for Ryan to flip it over and break it and bend it and I told you, dude, it's not doing it. Yeah, I believe that when I see it. A few little adjustments. Gotta adjust the mirrors. Gotta adjust the mirrors. Uh, yeah. What else did we say? What else do you have to do? Yeah. You have to put the skid plate on it. That nasty, yeah. filthy, disgusting, used skid plate. Hey, dude, this machine's only gonna be about six months. But it's going. Under the knife. Again. <clears throat> We're looking good though. Alright y'all. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks y'all. Hope to see y'all out there. Especially hope to see you at Indian Mountain for Brian Smith birthday. 40! Yeah, he's old as dirt. <laughs>